Hello and welcome to the PPE Community Cup held by the good boys at Paper Plane Esports. Uh, you know, it's a stock standard Overwatch tournament, except it's not because we have a band system and the band system is pretty nutty. It's a band protect system, actually. Each team can select one of three choices. You can either ban two enemy heroes, ban one enemy hero, and protect one hero for your own team. Wait, no, sorry, that's incorrect. You can either ban two enemy heroes, or you can ban one enemy hero, protect one hero for your own team, or three, protect two heroes for your team. And uh, the, the teams have already, have already decided uh, which way they'd like to go. And Veridity uh, are boys on the attacking side for the, this game when we help in. Uh, have already banned Lucio and Zarya. So that means that Vanquish are not going to, for the, all the matches that are going to be played tonight... They cannot play Lucio, neither Zarya. And Vanquish have banned Lucio and Zenyatta. Meaning that... Ver uh, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Vanquish have banned Lucio and Zenyatta, meaning that uh, Vanquish... Wait, bleh, Veridity cannot play Lucio and or Zenyatta. So those have been the bans so far. So right now we're just waiting before we help into the match. Uh, I am joined today by my man Kestro. How you doing, Kestro? Not too bad, not too bad. How about yourself, mate? That's good, that's all right. Yeah, just, just on that regular day-to-day -day grind, go to uni boy by day, class man by night. You know how it's be. Yeah, let's hope for a good game, shall we? Let's go both teams. <laughs> Hopefully. What do you think that's going to be a game tonight for both teams? Oh, uh, well, I mean... You know, you know how Overwatch is these days. It's pretty much goats and just variations of it. So you know, Reinhardt, Zarya, Divas, Lucio, Zenyatta, and Briggs. And then if the maps tend to have more verticality, we'll probably be seeing Winston, Diva, Zarya, Lucio, Briggs, and so the only thing that really changes is going to be the two the two tanks. Wouldn't agree more, but without the Lucio, I don't think both teams can do much, can they? <laughs> this is true. The band system is going to mean that. Uh, yeah, you're right, that we probably won't be seeing standard goats. We might actually see interesting Overwatch for once. We sure are. Like, it's going to be way different than the actual <laughs> Overwatch League, for sure. Yeah, yeah, we're not playing Overwatch here, boys. We're playing some wacky, wacky, crazy game. What do you, what do you, what do you think the comps are going to be are gonna be run here? I'm just going to call the good old dive, honestly. Mm -hmm. But although, without Lucio, they might just give in... The more and Mercy, if they decide to do it like a hardcore pocketing, pocketing tanks and support, uh, DPS attack. But well, things can change. We can see about that for sure. Yeah, it's going to be interesting because uh, Van Vanquish have banned both Lucio and Zen. So Viridity are pretty pretty stuck when it's going to come to defensive alts, while uh, Viridity have, uh, uh, while uh, Vanquish are going to be able to at least have a Zen Yada. So Dive composition is probably going to be favoring Vanquish, if that's what they decide to run here. Whereas Viridity would probably fall out there because they won't have the Zen Yard Discords. But like you said, Mercy's still in the pool. Mora's still in the pool. Uh, it's Anna's gonna. Still in the pool. It's definitely gonna be weird not seeing a graph convo by both teams. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Since you see that normally, and it's a pretty common graph to win team fights. Yeah, Zarya really is the glue that holds goats together, I think. For so sure is, for sure. Vanquish, Vanquish not being able to have that at all. Uh, quite detrimental towards the goats composition. But uh Viridity, they can still run they can still run Zarya, so they can they can have a Moira, they can replace uh the Zenyata with Moira. You know, I'm surprised nobody banned Brig, really, because if if I had spoke for the Overwatch community, I'd say that everyone hates Brig the most, but apparently not. That's uh Hasn't been banned at all here. Pretty true. As she just got nerfed recently and she's going down town with that nerf. Yeah. You hope so. You, you're going to hope uh, the Overwatch meta changes when this patch comes through. When we see Baptist in game, the Overwatch game will be no longer Overwatch anymore. All right. So we're going to ask if both teams are ready. Most likely are. We've been sitting in lobby for. A Fair little whack of a while now. They're going to need to get a clear head chat from each team member so that they can each possibly get a good attack from each team and get a good game, whether exactly. both teams loses. 
if if you're not in the headspace that you can win, you probably won't win. So hopefully they've been pumping each other up in the lobby. Exactly. All right, we are going to hop into the match in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> Let's go. First map of the day going to be Watchpoint Gibraltar. Has a lot of verticality inside this map, especially coming as that first, uh, first point. Uh, your boys on the defense, that is going to be team... <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> team Vanquish on the blue side with Twin Veridity on the red team. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. Indeed. I'm going to wait for a fun one, I sure am. Do you, do, you, do, you have, do you have a team that you're secretly rooting for here, Kestro? Not going to lie, but uh, I'll just go for the blue team since blue, blue is, team. Is, is, is my favorite color for sure. Blue is my All color, right. so I'm going to go for the blue. I'll, I'll be cheering on Veridity for the for the remainder of this little series well, between the two. May teams. the best team win then, Sterile. Yeah, it's my team. It's Veridity. We'll see about that, we'll take hands down. No, there's no we'll see about that. It's hands down. The game has already been decided. But anyway, we're hopping in. 40 seconds on the clock, so I had to talk about what team comps they wish to run. Remembering that uh, Vanquish cannot play Lucio or Zarya, and Viridity cannot play Lucio or Zen. So neither of those heroes are going to be in the pool today. Uh, but right now, we can see on the de defensive side, gonna be running Zen Yada, Diva, Winston. With the Sombra out here as well, with the Anna and Genji. So definitely looking towards that dive composition meta that we used to know and love, but was uh, mercilessly slaughtered by the Overwatch team. And here we go. Starting up already. The attacking side do have the Pharmacy, yeah, and that's already a quick pick for a shade onto the Zen Yada. That's going to make this first push a lot easier. The cart moving forward. Not very much. The fight's still underway. Hammer's Cats is going to pick up new on the Genji. It looks like the defensive side really crumbling straight away. Definitely is. You're definitely right. The red team might just take the game, but decent change feature. Although we can see that they're running a bit of a different comp here on Team Red. Wouldn't you think? Only one hammer with three DPS is going. Not the normal team comp that you were hoping for in the game. No, definitely not. We have seen in the Overwatch League, though, that uh, a quad DPS comp has been run before. I think it was by uh, London Spitfire. Uh, so far in this game. Seems that the attacking side is just non-stop on that payload right now. It's already gone through the underpass. Winston pushing in on the high ground. He's trying to clear that space, but the Nano Boost has gone through the blade. In the back line, he's already picked up one. He picks up both supports. Now, can he find any more? Yes, he does. He picks up the Winston to follow. And the defensive side really just can't seem to get their foot in the mud. Knew the last man standing. <laughs> Trades right at the end there for the Pharah, but you know what? A trade like that isn't going to matter when the payload is right at your doorstep. And there you have it. The first point unlocked the attacking side. And they're going to continue to push the point. What do you think uh, Vanquish are going to need to do here to start holding their ground? I'm gonna say that once they get into a better position for the wind to attack, and I might need to go for the nano primal rage to get that better uh, defensive side ready. Oh, that's a huge pick. They know it. Where's this down? They can go in for it, but no. They're holding pr defensive pretty well. Although red teams with the Valkyrie ready, they could, they could go for a positive push there to see if uh, Ana uses the nano boost well. Yeah, Vanquish have finally established a uh, defensive position where they're not, they're not they're not on the back foot right now. This ball going into the back line. He sees the Zenyatta, but the McCree is there. So, it's going to be a quick pick. He goes with the Palmer Rage, trying to get a pick. But no, Genius gets a pick first by Winston. None of the Winston <laughs> meant McCree. Winston did force the Valkyrie out from the Mercy. And right now... Defensive side, just repositioning themselves, establishing the high ground control. Olam with a big pick onto the tracer. Can they get the res off? Yes, they can. And the mercy, is she gonna fall? Winston's going for her and he does. He gets the pick. The defensive side. The boys in blue. Uh, bringing it back on this second point. The second part of the map, the dive tanks really are taking full use of this high ground. 
Yeah, they definitely are. As you can see, Winston and Eva are just trying to get in on the head so that the red team does not push it quite easily, along with the Widow trying to get a pick if the Tracer like, try to rush in, hoping to get some lucky picks. Oh, yeah, and you. Good, good pick by the McCree. Tracer down. Is, there, is there nothing this man cannot do? He's getting picks left, right, and center. Both the DPS, really, have been getting picks consistently. Vanquish doing a good job here. So oh, with the red the team with the blade and the abyss ready. Would we see an blade again here? Well, I tell you what, you're not going to see it on the defensive side as Murky has taken out Calisation. And it's just going to be logical. Just dying on the point, trying not to stagger himself, as this is most definitely a 5 win for the side of Viridity here. Winston also just is still on the point, actually, and he pops the Primal Rage. Will he be able to get the Mercy for this? This is a lot of time being stolen here by the Winston and the Primal Range. They're just not, they just don't have the it focus. It definitely is. And a nice pick there by Olam on, on Red Shade. No way. And wow. My god, they actually... No way. New gets one, two or three picks there. With the help of the monkey in the back line causing a ruckus, taking all the attention from the attacking side. You know, and they I didn't say, get any card for that. I say... Blue team's taking the defensive strategy pretty well right now, with the Winston just pushing them in and out, in and out, dancing on the, dancing around the checkpoint. Yeah, the Winston is doing a really good job, along with the Diva, of controlling this high ground. And as soon as they try and push through, they won't waste their mobility. Definitely is. And they'll just drop down and, and force we go. them to the pop. Yeah. No, there you see, the Nano has been nice. popped. But it, it doesn't even get, it, it doesn't even really matter. They only commit a nano boost to that, and it's and they win the fight very convincingly. Not a single player drops on their side. I, and uh, looking right now, they do have a lot of alts. Uh, Team Vanquish, oh sorry, <laughs> Team Viridity rather, do have a lot of alts. So you're gonna have to be careful of the nano blade, but they're just not putting themselves in a position where they can go in as a unit. And Whoa, actually we get see, we see oh. Dragonfly 298 switch to hard though. Not quite a normal composition with two snipers and <laughs> a DPS. It would be seen a normal comp. No, definitely not. But the band system you can see it makes Overwatch a little bit more, well, a lot a bit more interesting than what you'd regularly see. It definitely it's more does. Of a, a blast of the past when Overwatch was a bit more. Uh, you can uh, see here, Widow is trying to get a pick, but not failed it. Although that's a huge pick there by the by the red team. Costigan's down, so that's a huge push there. Can they do make the diva the nano boost onto the Genji? He pops out the blade, the transcendence is there in response. It doesn't look like he's gonna be able to kill. He doesn't have the dash reset and new with a beautiful and high noon. Read. Yes. Yes, big. Eliminating that ulting Genji is gonna be huge. Looks like the Mercy ult is running out. Dragon, dragon strike fly, coming dragon through. Separating the team. By all I'm no way, this team's going pretty well. <laughs> Oh, he oh ran in by himself and has fallen. They only have 12 seconds on the clock. Sandshark gets that's the rest. Red by the Messi. Hanzo, clutch or kick right now. One man army is not enough. And they hold after a very that? poor, after an incredibly poor performance on the first point. They hold the second very convincingly. Really, I think the, the the primary difference was just the tank players and their the the discipline in their positioning. They made it sure they was they held their high ground. It definitely they was because when the first team started attacking, there wasn't much uh, side to for them to defend on at all. There's no wall to hide behind, and then the widow can just get picked straight away, which we did see at the start for sure. Definitely, it was a uh, for the attacking side. Sorry. <laughs> Really should be a lot more used to the uh, the team names, but they both start with V. Very confusing for me. Uh, Definitely for sure, yeah. <laughs> team Verinity, they were having a lot of trouble to actually get in so they could use their ultimates. So you saw their, their Mercy popped about a little bit willy-nilly on two separate occasions, and they didn't really get much out of it as a result. Not that Mercy ultimate as a thing is uh, be-all, end-all, but you saw when they popped the, uh, the Nano Boost onto the Genji near the 8th, near the end, that was sort of their, that was their saving grace. And I felt like uh, there was a little, a lack of communication because the nano boost went out, Genji wasn't in the right position, and he was forced to try and make use of it with his dragon blade, and you saw he got shot down by the McCree Hanyu. For and sure. that was but, pretty much all she wrote. For sure, definitely for sure. But also there, from blue team last round, they, I guess, 
the successful defensive strategies was holding the two tanks up, which they did obviously, but then I think what the red team is lacking of is the amount of tanks that's needed to take the damage. Yeah, definitely. You, you, you saw the lack of tanks really was a detriment. They couldn't get in because they took too much damage prior to getting anywhere. But right now, the pirate ship. Yo, homie hardies. Hog, a beautiful suck and sleep. Oh no, the Hog's probably going to fall here because the Annie's there, Annie's there to follow. The Bastion just doing all the work in the world right now on the card, unfortunately. Arissa missing the shield will lead to Bastion's death, but the res is there swiftly from April on that Mercy, and the card's just going to keep going forward. Diva, how much defense magics do you have? Not nearly enough for that much damage, I can tell you that much. And Mora, Mora with the baby Diva. Poor Korean girl trapped in the corner, 1080p. Trying to stall it out on the cut, but uh, you're not going to be living very long. Poor Sand Shark, a beautiful just sleep. Just taken down and a nice little stagger, but just got taken down by out of that. But I like that set. Bloody Moira. A lot very powerful pirate ship right now. And Arisa Murky did not expect the damage, but dies in about half a second. Shield included. Ball, will he be looking to touch? Yes, but unfortunately, a little too late. And my god. The damage is just being laid in right now. You can see the picks are still coming through. Aprilla on the Mercy yes. got the res as well. But it's it's just absolute carnage right now. You can see ults are just being popped. They do not care. They are that close to the end and that is it. Pirate ship was not stopped for even 10 seconds total throughout that entire match. I, I agree. Knew, knew that he was never going to push. That's why he used the Molten Core to spray across the choke that they can pass as well so that they can successfully and safely push past the checkpoint to get that dub. And yeah. they did, didn't they? And play of the game. Goes the hammers, caps. With the blade, we saw this. This was... That is a thing nice 3k by hammer. And amazing. Alright, we're going to throw it over to Dan with the analysis. Uh, boys, on the announcement right. couch, over to you. So look, that was a interesting round, don't you reckon, fellas? Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah, for sure. So, I mean, it was good to see, like, the Widow got a really nice pick at the start, which opened the game up and kind of pushed uh, Vanquish back, as we saw. But one thing I think I really want to highlight is that with Veridity running that triple DPS, they seem to have a real big problem coming through those those two doors once they captured first. They just didn't have the tanks to try and create the space, even though they had all the ultimates. You know, they had Farah, Widow, Genji, they swapped to Hanzo. There just was no room. Even if they were running the Hammond, it didn't create the room which they really need to try and push through. And we can kind of see that. Uh, that's why they kind of got uh, stuffed by... Vanquish running the Winston and the Diva, holding those chokes and putting the bodies on the line, which did a lot more than what you could actually see just from the number values that they got uh, got out. So, yeah, definitely. I mean, you really have to kind of give it up to the supports and the tanks there for that round. 100%, I'd, like, I couldn't see it any other way, in all honesty. Yeah, and then the one time that they the Hammond did actually create the space necessary for them to win an engagement, the, the tanks from the other side were just too much. They stayed on point. They didn't die. They created the space needed for their team to respawn and come back. And they overwhelmed them with the, the, the space that the tanks could create. Yeah, it was the big primal by uh, Michelle kind of holding that point there. Even when the Hammond came through, he got anti, he kind of got melted. But it was a big stall by Michelle on the Winston there to really keep that point alive and stop uh, Veridity and pushing through. Yeah. Most definitely a crucial player to keep them in that uh, second point area. And it led to a swift victory with the pirate ship. So, most certainly, most certainly. To my man. Classic team strategies. All right, well, fellas, that's all from me. Uh, let's hope that next round's just as, in, as interesting. Yeah, thank you, Dan. And next map, going to be King's Row by the looks of it. Veridity on the attack, Vanquish on the defense yet again. No? You know, I guess I'm gonna keep going for the blue team. Yeah? You're holding yep. out? Yep, holding out. Not taking an L. <laughs> Let's go, blue team. Come on, Vanquish. You, you still got plenty more games to come back in. Definitely with. do. 
All right. So Although in, instead of a dub for both teams, we could see a potential draw here. You could. Uh, unlike uh, seeing it in your ranked queue draws in a situation like this, you know, everyone wins. Really, we get to see some good overwatch. That's, they don't win. That's all, true. You know. So exactly, right now, exactly, but like, definitely. We're just waiting on a Viridity. They're not quite ready yet. They're stratting up a storm for King's Row. Yeah. Did you know for sure, but... play Luffy or Zen, so it's it's a lot different, you know. Yeah, You're it's really gonna be tough for both teams here. Yeah. Although, like we said, a draw might be the odds since the bands really do make both teams hard to play. Sure. Yeah, it's hard to hard to because you're not you're no longer playing the same game. The rules are completely changed, so it's whichever team could decide what's appropriate or the most the strongest based on what they have. And apparently, pirate ship is gonna is is one of those things, and yeah. especially on payload maps. And guess what? King's Row is a hybrid map. It has a payload, so we could see it come out again. Well, let's hope for another good game then. Let's hope that the Parachute <laughs> will take the dominant classic strategies dub. Yeah, let's hope that uh, Hog doesn't get slept, sucked, and antied and die. Let's hope that. Time. Come on, Hog, you got this. We believe in you. Still waiting. Man. You know what, Kezro? Uh, I don't know too much about you, my man. What What do you mean in Overwatch? Well, I'm not going to lie, actually. I just switched to PC recently from PS4, but uh, oh, yeah, good uh, but uh, so recently just trying to get to level 25 to play better play rank. I find myself pretty decent, Hanzo. Classical yeah. DPS, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm looking forward to be able to play other, other heroes as well if I want to just fit and be able to get to higher ranks and just get that decent platinum. Yeah, well, as a DPS player, I hope you're excited to play plenty of Brig, my man, because that's what you're going to be getting these days. So. Oh, Brig was just as powerful as she is now, but without the nerf shoot bash, with the nerf shoot bash, my apologies, definitely be hard for her to fit in the meta, yeah, especially well, when she can just charge the right straight away before the patch. Well, looks like everybody's ready here now. Yep, that is correct. Yes. All right, so we're going to be heading into the match in three, two, one. Boom. We're going in. Let's hope for another good game. All right, so I'm going to predict that we're going to be seeing Anna Mercy. I think those were the supports of choice last game as well. I think that's probably the optimal uh, healing duo here. Mercy has the uh, the mobility to keep up with tanks. And Anna, I think Nano Boost generally is a stronger ultimate than Coalescence. It provides a lot more utility, a lot more synergy between multiple heroes. Definitely does. You know, this map reminds me more of the moment in Overwatch League where I'm pretty sure Gladiators uh, tricked the enemies, tricked the opposing team where they were going around up up top when the Widow was just in spawn going for that cheeky snipe if you're yeah, if you, if you seen the I game. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I've seen that. I'm that pretty sure I'll be keen to see this play. <laughs> see it replicated here? Master, sure, if mate. you will. Well taking a look at the the team compositions looks like bastion orisha pirate ship is gonna be the composition of choice for team vanquish <coughs> yeah Definitely. it worked last game so but for oh, really. really we have a nice little dive here classical dive but uh we have only the mercy as a support which is gonna be a close call if all the members need heals because none of them can actually kill them at all whatsoever so th that's gonna be an interesting fight for them to attack yeah, that's going to be a really interesting to see. I mean, if, if Mercy falls, this whole entire composition falls. So Sandshark, really a lot of weight on his sol shoulders. A lot, a lot of weight on this <coughs> man's shoulder. With two snipers, yeah. not going to be easy for the attack. Yeah, most definitely. Well, Vanquish have opted out for the Bastion. Uh, they do have the D.Va to rotate through high ground, make sure the point stays contested. is going to keep the snipers nice and protected behind there. And it looks like attacking side right now just thinking deciding how they're going to approach this one it's viridity going up the right side that's not really somewhere you want to be though against the spam of a hanzo as winston jumps right in and has to duck down straight away but it looks like arisa is the first to fall a beautiful anti from grab attack in the back line who does get swiftly picked off by olam 
And right now, it's fairly even, but the point is being ticked down by the Mercy. She's got nowhere to fly, and the Discord is on her. <laughs> Olam does take her down, though, to the point. Not barely being contested. It looks like it's going to be a clean hold. Well, I say clean. Not very. Only just scraping by some beautiful picks from Olam there. And the fight, but it's still going on. They do have the spawn advantage. And Anna has the pocket heal, so... I don't know if they can get back to the point in time, but Anna's down. Genji in the back line is really proving worrisome. Crab attack still on the point, providing the heals. Logical is sleeping, just stalling it out, but it seems like they're okay with that. For now, she will be falling down very soon, however, and doesn't have the ultimate to get back to the neck. So it's a slow tick up on the payload. And honestly, it could go either way at this point. The res is there from the Mercy. So Anna been vital so far. The Transcendence has been built. This is going to need to be essential usage. Keep them nice and healthy on the point. It's still going. As the blade has finally come out. Goes onto the back line. Gets the Anna one healer down. But it doesn't look like it's going to matter. Team Vanquish have gotten a lot of frags in the meantime. The tanks creating a lot of noise in the back line. And that is definitely going to be a wasted blade from the Gengu. And a point hold from Vanquish. And a Primal Rage, as well as the Diva Bomb for the side of Vanquish, have been built up. Almost have Nana Boost as well. So Winston can cause even more noise in the back line. But, I believe I heard a uh, Scythe activated from Reshade. So they're going to have to watch their heads. <laughs> and as I say that, Zenyatta did not watch his. He has fallen. So, no healing, no discords from that man. That is for sure. As Winston diving into the back line. Just a soft dive. Uses the bubble as new. Picks up Rishade. As well as Olam taking down the Winston. And that is already three members down. The Nanaboost has been used. And it's just going to be staggers from here, really. Only one minute left on the clock as well. And they only have Anna. Ultimate. What do they do here? What do they do here, Kez? This is not going to work out for the red team at all. No. No, he's not. I mean, they're really going to have to pull a cat out of the bag here because they have one Nana Boost and a Dream. They do have the Sombra now, so the hack is there. Yeah, he's almost on his ult. They could go for a possible Nano Blade that could take out at No, least. they can't because no, all of in the back no line takes down Crab. The Nana Boost isn't going to be there. Self-destruct on the point from Logical. The defensive side. Look like they're going to be holding strong. They do have 30 seconds, though. If they can re-establish themselves, they might be okay. But better than them, what are you doing? You're running forward. You should be running back. He probably could have made it to his healers in time. 15 seconds on the clock. <clears throat> it's going to have to be Winston or Genji that touches here. Or possibly the Tracer, Reshade. Posturing like he wants to be the man to touch. If he has the Discord. He could be chopped down in a second. And there it is. Genji. Pops out the blade, the nano boost is there. He doesn't get the kill though, and the transcendence is there, keeping the side healthy. He still has the nano boost, but Nu has a nano boost of his own. The bomb coming out to the point. Can he get any frags? No, he can't. Right now, just a just an absolute mess in the point. Another self-destruct. The ultimates are really piling up. But it looks like it's gonna be a nice hole here from Vanquish. Jesus. This blue team doing <laughs> pretty well in the first round, I guess. Yeah, that last fight really was just a mess of ultimates. The Genji hasn't been using the Nano Blade very effectively. For he sure, hasn't been getting the dash damage with the. We uh, the do first definitely one. sure, but we can see Olam was being annoying as Tracer towards the red team, showing no mercy L whatsoever, taking out every member that he sees. That's most important as Tracer when he's on defense. But even though we know that Tracer's better on the attack, as you can agree. Yeah. Well, with Goats not being viable and Brig not being preferred regardless, uh, not being viable as a result of the bans, Brig is still in the pool, but without Goats, uh, seems these teams decide that she's not useful enough. After the tra Trace are doing so much work, you'd think that maybe they'd pick up the Brigette to help. Definitely. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, to help out the back line. But uh, unfortunately, that wasn't on the agenda. Sure. And they paid the price. So for real, yeah. they can have this. Definitely somewhere. interesting. We have an interesting com here. Not that interesting, although we see a Moira finally on the red <laughs> team. You know, look, they, they need to try something different at this point because it just has not been working. No way. Evidently. We, 
Brig. The Brig's ready. The Brig's live. The Brig. We see the it. Brig. They don't want to deal with Olam on that tracer. No, They've they had don't. Enough. They're deathly sick of it and they said, Tracer, mate, you are not going <laughs> to take it out anymore. You're going down now. Well, now needs to be the time. They have the junk rat as well, so that's a lot more damage for them. And the trap already onto Ola. Who needs a Bridget? A Brigitte? A Bridget? A Brigitte? I, don't, I still don't know how to pronounce the goddamn name, but who needs it when you have a junk rat trap? No, you certainly Brigitte. don't. Oh, no. I'm going to assume that was a, a deflect. Yeah. A beautiful deflect. We'll open things up. It's a 5v6 right now as Brick going onto the point. She has been hit with a beautiful anti, though, as Winston, as well as the Diva, dropping low themselves. Hammercat has fallen, and it looks like Team Vanquish are really asserting themselves on this point. A beautifully executed push. And D.Va as well eats the nade, that's going to mean that Anna falls, the Arisa falls, and the point is ticking up. The only person that could potentially touch is the Trace, but with no... Uh, no... <laughs> yep. Well, well, it's the last man in Nano there. Didn't do so much, but this blue chips to the win. This would be it. No, uh, tr God, I still don't know the name of that ability. I'm just going to call it her E. Anyway, new on the Hanzo does get the play, you know, we I've more so expected from his tracer as that's where we saw the most consistent frags from the man, but a beautiful two pinks. Amazing lead shot. Yeah, two dinks. Can he get the mercy as well? He did hit the dink, so you know, we'll give it to him. Struggled Ooh. there with the Stormbow, but ends up being the mercy well. <laughs> yeah, it does Stormbow doesn't matter if you hit the shots without it. You do more damage if you just hit your, just hit heads. Just click for heads. For sure, though. for sure. <clears throat> anyway. We're going to be throwing it over to Dan here for the analysis on that game. See what his thoughts are. Oh, actually, yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. that is correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you got it right, you got it right. Look. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm doing my best. Uh, no problem whatsoever. Um, I've, I mean, wow, like two big performances by Team Vanquish so far. Am I right? For yeah. sure. I mean, so, I guess we'll start off with uh, how things played out with Vanquish on defense. Uh, they had some great, great ult usage, considering it seemed like Viridi had that point fighting out for two odd minutes. They had, you know, they had the play, they had the setup, they got the big nade at the start when they were running dive. They had the point. Just, they didn't follow up uh, together. You saw the Winston try and jump further into the back, um, pushing straight underneath the arch. You saw the Genji uh, tried to go for a blade and didn't get much value. It just seemed like there's they're a little bit slow onto the rotation and pushing up, uh, being together, especially with dive, um, considering how Vanquish ended up switching to dive. Like, they just weren't syncing up, from what I saw. Uh, which hurt them a lot. And then, yeah. like, just to follow things up, I'm quite interested interested in uh, New. Uh, New popped off on the Genji. He popped off uh, just on the Hanzo. It really just seems like Vanquish are really coming... Uh, you know, they've got a game plan, it really looks like, and they're executing well. Uh, over ulting it just seems to show that vanquish you know maybe they've been playing quite a bit together or they've uh, been pub stomping for a little bit but it's really really turn up turning up for themselves definitely was because we can see that at the end of their defensive round olam was going off as tracer i mean not off that you would the word that i would describe his tracer play but he was trying he was definitely keeping the DPS and the support away from the choke points so that they can just fully form a nice defensive line to in order to keep the point from being taken, despite it did being capped for like what two ticks, I think. Yeah, I think so. And I mean, even when they had someone on the point, um, you saw the new and uh, and Michelle, you know, they were kind of dealing with the point pressure where Olam was kind of rotating through the back line, really tearing it up. It was good to see. You know, it's really, you know, they've got some good Overwatch uh, that they're playing Vanquish right now. And I really want to see Viridity in 
I guess they need to pair up their dives a lot more, either with the Winston and the Diva going in together, or a Winston and the other DPS, because it that just seems to be the missing uh, point right now, because they are getting the picks. It's just it's not quite uh, snowballing into the next fight, or even to that uh, capturing the point, really. I think that uh, <clears throat> the fact that uh, the, the fact that Vanquish can play the Zenyana, I think that Discord, that Discord orb has plays a large part in the their survivability of the tanks and the, the the space that they can create as a result. You know, the Discord really does chunk down tanks, and I feel like you can you can see that in these games, the the tank line for Vanquish appears a lot stronger, a lot consi more consistent, a lot more established, so they don't have to fear the Discord orb. They certainly is, do not. Uh, isn't, uh, doesn't Vanquish, they can't play Lucy in the Zen? Is that right? Yeah, Vanquish, did. Vanquish yeah. Ban didn't Vanquish, weren't Vanquish the ones to ban the Lucy in Zen, meaning that Veridity can't play the Lucy in the Zen? I think am so. I, am I being wrong? <laughs> We could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure that Vanquish banned Lucio and Zarya. Oh, uh, no, they did. You were right. They banned Lucio and Zen. Yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at there me. We go. I know things. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, what's the next map? Uh, are you aware? It's the... Next map. Mr. Mr. Background Boys, Mr. Uh, moderator. Elios. Elios. All right, well, if they're ready and you guys are ready, head off and have a good one. All right, Let's looks, do it. Like, looks like both sides are ready. And we're going to hop into Elios in three, two, one. Excellent. It's so satisfying every time. I command the lobby. Would you? Well, Kes, for next time, you have to try. You have to do it, man. It feels powerful. Oh, yes, I'll powerful. have to. Well, <laughs> let's see who's going to take the third, second win at today, since we both won all right now, wouldn't, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Now, look, this is a different ball game. Definitely is. No payload this time, right? At all. No, not at all. Well, we got to see the payload uh, in the last game, but, you know, control points. Well, we know that there's no Lucio at all for both teams, so unlucky that we won't see any funny booping ki boop <laughs> kills, which is what well, we want to see every single game. But Winston be. has not been banned, so could still see them. Could sure, see no, Orisa. Well. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, definitely. Same wavelength right now. Here we are, 30 seconds on the clock. You can start to see what either team are thinking. Vanquish, probably... Well, they, we could be seeing the Symmetra. Quite a strong hero, surprisingly so. Just haven't, uh, hasn't had enough time inside the realm of the meta yet, so... I'm going to go ahead and say it's unlikely. Yep, yeah, they do fall back on the Zenyana, because they can pick it, unlike the side of poor Viridity, who are going to be running the Brigette. They're looking to be running uh, like a, a little variation of goats, because a variation... Be because they don't have the uh, Lucio side. We could Maybe finally Anna see a potential place. grab combo here. The Anna McCree. Most definitely. There's Winston jumping up on the high ground right now. Vanquish just asserting themselves, controlling the high ground, asserting pressure from above. And Viridity. They don't have the speed boost to get to point quickly, and the shield is suffering as a result. Brigitte there, trying to help out her main tank, but Nuru has already secured two frames. Can he find a third? No, he can't, but Olam can, and it looks like they're just going to be crumbling Viridity on the point right now. Or off the point, rather, especially Sandshark in the deep, deep abyss. Yep, I don't think she wants to be killed. <laughs> no, she, if, if she's going to die, it might as well be by her in a hand. And anyway, Viridity. Definitely. Going to rethink, regroup. No composition switches. And this time, though, they are thinking about taking the high ground, as that was a primary reason for their fall on the first push. 
And here you see the tanks coming through on the top line. The Brigade, a beautiful start of the Winston. He does get taken down. The Nanaboost is there, but he's already used the, the dash without a kill. It doesn't matter because Olam is there to follow up his man with the Pulse Bomb. Nu has picked up two Franks. There's half the team of Aridity right now already falling. Mora trying to do her best, keep herself alive. But at this point, she's just staggering herself. This has been an amazing game. Amazing plays by Nu and Olam so far. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Nu missing the dash damage from that nano blade really did would have costed him if that pulse bomb didn't come through. The Reinhardt could have lived, could have survived a lot longer if the pulse bomb didn't just immediately chunk down 250 health points. Although thanks to the nano boost, he did end up getting a few frags, which gave his team an upper advantage in the forward fights. Most definitely. High Noon coming out from the right side, just trying to pressure the monkey. Won't be able to get anything for his troubles, but maybe will get logical on the D.Va. She does pull down the spike, getting the ultimate off, and it's not going to get any Franks. Hammer's Cat does get the Zen as well, so it's two down for the side of Team Vanquish, as Winston has popped the Primal, but has been popped himself. And they finally, after <coughs> only 76%, do cap the point. Looks but like we really did work something out after all with the team. They most definitely did. Beautiful Brigade play. And they have ultimates to work with now. They have the Graviton Surge. They have the Earth Shatter. It's Winston. Yet again, controlling the high ground. Does waste the bubble, but here it is. The Dragon Blade. Can he go big with it again? No, the Graviton is there for the team, along with the Transcendence as well to keep the defensive side alive. My boys, Viridity, struggling right now, but the Earth Shatter is there. Pulse Bomb does take him out just in time, though. So we won't be able to follow up. Olam doing big things for this team right now as Vanquish will get back on the point. And my god, if you are Viridity, you are sweating at this point. I mean, it's they sh sure, if they lose this round, they do get to play another. But it will chunk down that confidence as they've already lost two maps. And Nu and Arilla, uh, Aprilla have already gotten two picks. So it's at 4v6, and they only have about six seconds to get to the point. So, and they have no loose to speed boost. Can they even make it? The right up pin? No! It hits the post. They do manage to get on just in time, but it is gonna be rough. The nano boost is on the D.Va. Better name on the Zarya. Doing his best to stay alive, but he does fall to Nu. Regardless, Winston jumps off the map, but it doesn't look like it's gonna matter. As the victory blade, along with the self-destruct, they're just at the end. They're not gonna need it. Olds don't rotate into the next round. But you'd rather oh be God. safe than sorry, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, you, you never know. Primaling Winston from the other side of the map could come into the last second. And boop your entire team off the map. You never know. Great place by both teams so far, although I say Viridity needs to definitely sort out their strategies when it comes to actually engaging Vanquish and attacking, and they definitely need to use their, their, their combos well enough since they can use them. Yeah, they definitely need to figure something out because it goes without saying that they are struggling here you know what i would i am very supportive of the torbjorn pick rashade really mixing things up and i am a big fan small swedish men i dig it i'm all about it they have the orissa as well with the diva we might be when you're seeing a what oh we're gonna be seeing a pause a pause what's, what's going on oh Cal Calsation has left the game. Is playing for Vanquish. So, just wait on that man to reconnect. In the meantime, yeah. we can pick apart these team compositions. Definitely. Well, we see a Torb on Veritity. That means we are witnessing the history of meta change, obviously. <laughs> hey, didn't, De didn't DeFran play Torb in the Overwatch League semi recently? I don't so. think so. I mean, I can't really talk a part in this because I don't think I've watched uh, the friend play at all. Although I did see a couple of highlights of the friend just popping off, taking out the team and taking the dub. Yeah, well, I I, I, I swear I have seen the friend play uh, the Torbjorn and I think he did play it on this exact map, Ilios well as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's the friend. He plays whatever he yeah. wants and he gets the dub. Yeah, Dan has confirmed for me. Defran most certainly did play Torbjorn. But anyway, uh, Vanquish are going to be running an Orisa also, but instead of the Diva, they have a Hog. They also have the Anna. I don't know uh, what Calsation was playing before he disconnected.
but it's probably going to be that secondary healer. Nu's been doing big things on Genji. We could be seeing a hybrid great composition here by by Vanquish with the Genji and maybe a Moira. Yeah, Moira definitely good when your team composition thrives around huddling behind the shield. A lot of effective healing will come out as a result, and you see Viridity. Oops, yeah, sorry, Viridity are the ones with the, the Moira. So you're saying that you think that uh, Vanquish are going to be running the Moira themselves. Uh, for sure, I definitely think yeah. that. They, I mean, even though if they if they don't, I think that it would be a good support to run, as as Anna could be enough to support her teammates, as well as an as as well as getting a side support from the Moira, as with her what is it healing orb as she's just throwing around the map, just getting the Genji as he's going off picking the kills that he always had been as new. Yeah. Uh, I think April has been doing a really good job of hitting anti nades as well, and if she's getting the support from the Moira, meaning that her team's going to be uh, pretty safe, can rely quite heavily on the Moira as long as they're sticking together. Aprila has more opportunities and more time, more space to get the anti nades rather than using it on her teammates herself, and that has been <clears throat> a big key to winning a, a few, a fair few of the fights they have won. Definitely, definitely, but. Uh... I'm not really sure how Veritity is going to work at the team competition here because this is by far the weirdest comp I've ever like, witnessed <laughs> ever. I mean, as weird as being seen Torb playing in Overwatch, so you don't even see Hazo and Torb, do you? Uh, no, I definitely wouldn't think you'd see Hanzo with the Torb, you no. Know. <laughs> But look, they're just, they they have a notepad and they are scribbling things down and every time it doesn't work, they're crossing it out and they're writing something new. And this is that something new. It's Torbjorn Hanzo. And you know what? I support it. And I hope for their sake that it works because they need something. They well, really do. Well, I'm going to stick to my blue team for the dub. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm... Going to stick with Viridity because I believe it. I believe in the small Swedish man with the hammer. I think it's uh... the big things. They have a lot of damage that they can pump into the shield. Sure, they're against a Roadhog and a Diva, which can mitigate that damage. But I believe. I'm a believer. You know, a turret's effectively another hero if it's behind a shield, right? So it's a Although... 7v6. I mean, it's a 7v5 because they've got a DC, but, you know. Right. I mean, since you have so much belief in the Torb on Veridity, I can sort of see like a weird combo here. Since if Mora throws in her healing orb inside, let's say, the room by the choke point, reshaking is going and this molten core the entire room as Hanzo just spraying off there, or just the dragon just for the sake of getting the, the confirmed kills. And that could be a huge play if they somehow pull it off. Yeah, the uh, the Torbjorn ult's definitely going to be really strong on a map like this. A lot of, not really much room to, to walk around. But anyway, Cal Station is getting back into the game here. But we've started it anyway. He's also on the Torbjorn oh, no himself. Way. What a beautiful oh. stuff. Unfortunately, not enough. Diva does have the mobility to get out of that well. They're still waiting on their main man to get back. But he's on his way. Right now, both teams... It's just hide behind the shield and do as much damage as quickly as possible. But New gets taken out by a better name. It's not going to matter though. It's Team Vanquish. They've got two picks of their own and one of them was on the Orisa. So without a shield, you are going to be absorbing a hell of a lot of damage. And better name is really experiencing that. Cal <laughs> Station gets the hammer kill. That's what you say. Oh. Why are you gonna do my man better name dirty like that, man? I'm like a proud dad right now. My team is just taking off within two minutes. So I'm a proud dad. Look. Alright. Yeah, cut my boy some slack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ilham has just single handedly torn a hole in my boys with the help of Logical and the rest of the, the Motley crew, of course. Can Hog pick something up? Better name is angry. He was previously disrespected by the Torbjorn. I'm sure he'll be hunting for that little midget at some point during this game. There it is, the Hanzo, the Dragon Strike comes through. Doesn't get anything, but the Nanoblade! Will he be able to pick up the first one? Yes, no, he doesn't actually. A beautiful start from the Brigida. Shocking, this is huge. This is huge red team. Thank you for right now. This should be them winning, but Calstation, a big Torbop. 
with the self-destruct as well. Self-destruct doesn't get anything, but Cal Station has picked up two by himself. Aprila also taking out the Brigida. But Dr. Dr. Ma, with the help of his Anna, has just stayed on point this entire time. So, unfortunately, Viridity. Back to the drawing board again. Hammercats is a million miles away from the rest of his team, so they can't go in just yet. They need to have the discipline to stay focused. Irisa Barrier's there. They need to start chunking out the damage, but their shield is first to fall. The Molten Core is coming out. It's in a very small room, so that should be a lot of damage if there was anyone in there, which there isn't. A beautiful hook to stop the Hogger, but unfortunately, Calcation has taken him out. And New actually manages to cancel the Dragon Strike. And my god, the ultimates are just being thrown onto the point right now, but Team Vanquish, they're not really experiencing any difficulties at all. And that's and one point for Vanquish. Is that they it? Is, is, is it's the best of five, right? And they've won three? I think so. It's just clean sweep. Amazing place. Hola. Tracer? Yeah, the boys. Let's see what he does here. Oh, blinks. Ooh. Ooh, six the Reinhardt. Ooh, can he one-click the Tracer? Ooh, almost. Ooh, gets the melee to finish him off. Ooh. Ooh. Who is this man? His name's Ola. And he frags. He heavy frags. Albino. I think, is that the first card that uh, Viridity got throughout this whole series? I'm not sure. I think it was. I'm going to hope it wasn't, but if it was, you know what? Albino, at least you get the middle. You know, after the match, I just hope that the Overwatch League just somehow signed the whole blue team on Blink. Yeah. Just sign them on the Blame. Just let them get the kill. Just, <laughs> just let them in. Well, we're going to throw it over to Dan now with the analysis. Dan, what do you reckon? I mean... There was some good plays by uh, Vanquish as a whole. Am I right? Like, they did the little things just so well. Just so well. It's, it was really... It was a pleasure to watch. And it must have been a pleasure to cast. Oh, definitely. Well, it was a bit of a landslide coming out from Vanquish.